And U.S. Women's National Team Captain Lindsey Horan discussed what she thinks went wrong for the U.S. at the World Cup on the recap show hosted by Kristen Press and Tobin Heath. Horan explained that she didn't feel the team was set up for success. She went on to speak about the match against Sweden in the round of 16, stating the game against Sweden, I don't think we were necessarily set up to play the way that we played. That was just us finally coming together and being like, this is what we're going to do. So some pretty uh, strong words from Lindsay Horan there saying, Jordan, I think what a lot of us felt and, and saw watching this team. But when you saw those comments, what what came to mind to you? What was your reaction to what she said? I wasn't surprised in a way because I felt like this U.S. Women's National Team, we knew that they could play better. And when they came out against Sweden in a different structure that set a lot of other players up, a lot of players up for success. The wingers were more productive. Andy Sullivan, Lindsey Horan were more productive when they played a little bit deeper. I think that's where I'm like, the, the coach can set you up, but also these players are amazing footballers, that they had the ability to be amazing this whole time, to play with this joy. It doesn't surprise me. She's the captain. As the captain, you have to bear a lot of burden. And some of that has to do with uniting the squad, but some of it has to do with saying, hey, how can we be the best on the field? How can we make the decisions that are going to help us succeed? And, you know, I thought it was, I thought she handled herself throughout the whole tournament very well, especially after the game, after that loss. I know she ta has talked about in the last couple of weeks how she can't stop thinking about it, how they could have been more brave, how they could have been better in those moments, how she as the captain could have been better. So I, it, that makes me realize that, okay, this was a player-driven decision to change. Um, that takes a lot, though, doesn't it, yeah. for the players to yeah. decide, actually, we're not going to play like we're, that. It's we're happened before, our, though. do our own but, thing. But when, when was this decided? Was Because you said, and a lot of people said, that the United States' performance against Sweden was much better than previous performances of the tournament. It was. And if we're saying that that's player-driven, so does Vlatko Andonovsky give a team talk before the game and then then he leaves, the little players get together like, this is what we're actually going to do. And, and, and this is how they succeeded in the game. I think it's fairly stunning to hear the U.S. women's national team captain go, we basically tossed out everything that our coach gave us as direction in the trash and said, this is how we're going to play. But it wasn't working. So, so are you going to go into the biggest game that you had played yet? You had, they had to win this game. They were not convincing in the three games of the group stage. Were you going to go in and say, I don't know. I don't know if this was a decision that Lindsay went to Vlatko and said, hey, we, we need to change. And then it was implemented in, we, we don't know. Like from that, we don't have any idea when this How was actually say, made. I mean, you've been with the U.S. Women's National Team. They're a strong group of women. How much yes. say do you think that they have throughout the tournament? Or do you think it was just in that game where they said enough now? We, we want to play like this. You're not playing as our strengths. I think that they like clearly didn't have say until that moment where they made a decision. I would go back to 2015 though, because I've talked about this throughout the whole World Cup, is this was a team who didn't play well in 2015 in the group stage. They made some changes going into the knockout rounds. And I think from my understanding, some of those were player driven saying, hey, we have to adapt. We have to be better when we go into these knockout rounds. So that's why for me, it doesn't surprise me that the players were like, hey, this isn't working. Mm -hmm. We need to be better. We need to find, be successful in these moments. Yeah. But it's it's a lot to put that out there, too. I think that's the big thing, to put it out there and say... Would she have put it out there if Latko was still the head coach of the U.S.? I don't think so, because I know Lindsay very well, and I know how respectful she is to her uh, someone leading her. What do you think, And Nigel's I... just smiling. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> smiling. Waiting, I, I, I know Poppy's looking at me thinking, yeah, Nigel's got something up his sleeve, yeah. <laughs> but I'm back in Lindsay. I'm back in mm -hmm. Lindsay. Not every manager or every coach you see out there is a good manager or a good coach. Mm -hmm. We've, I've done that in my career before as captain, and the players do come along because the reality of it is if we can see as players what's going on and how we're so-called being told to play and it's not working, we take full command of that. You know, and it's happened before. It's something that does go on where... If players don't really truly believe in the manager, they will take it into their own hands. But I suppose it's easy to say we want to play this different style of play. So he's still selecting the team and then they're thinking, OK, well, we're not actually going to play as you want. We're going to play. But how much say do you think they had in the personnel? Because that was another thing that Vlatko was heavily scrutinised for was the players that he was putting in the 11. Well, I don't think the, the personnel, they had any say. But right. the way that they were set up in that Sweden game allowed their personnel to be better. Sophia Smith was off the back line. Uh, 
um, Trinity or Lynn Williams was off the back line so they could receive the ball and dribble at players. That's when they're successful. So even that tweak, it didn't matter what wingers they had. That tweak for all the wingers on the U.S. Women's National Team was all they needed to connect the back line to the front line and then get after teams. But that's not a personnel thing. That's a tactics thing. That's how you want to pick up the ball and how you want to move forward. I think it's brave of Lindsay. I also back her in what she's saying. And I do think I do think there are times as a player, if you are at the highest level, you have you know the game. Yeah. You know how to play the game. If you're not adjusting on the fly in the game, then you're doing yourself a disservice. And I feel like, unfortunately, that's what this U.S. women's team feels like, is we should have adapted ourselves before that point. Well, it's a lot of changes coming for yeah. this team now. Vlatko has departed and no more uh, Kate Markraff as well. So it feels like a big change for U.S. soccer on the women's side ahead of the Paris Olympics that's coming up.